Hello church, my name is Matt Curtis. I'm the creative minister at High Desert Church. We've been live streaming for a little over a year now, but maybe you haven't and maybe you don't want to. If you know how to create a video file and upload it to Vimeo or YouTube, I'm gonna show you how to make that a live weekend experience with no equipment and no dollars out of your pocket. Let's do it. All right, the first thing that you need to do is go to Church Online Platforms website. The URL is up top, click on create a new account, and then start going through the process of filling out your church's information. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Answer the questions uh, and then hit continue. And you're good to go. As you finish that process, you're going to be sent over to your, um, your, your dashboard and your um, kind of your admin page. And you're going to see a couple different sections on the left hand side. Analytics, are, there's nothing there until you've had events. Services, is where your services will exist. Users, these are the people that are hosting chat or contributing to chat. And then set up, just a bunch of setup things. And then down at the bottom, you'll see other, um, other options, um, support, updates, things like that. So you can dig around and you can see what those things are. None of those are very critical outside of services. You are going to set up a new service. So click the blue button, add service. Now you need to decide when is your service time. So this is your normal start time. And then the weekend when it happens, we're setting it up for the 22nd because that's the upcoming weekend. Repeat, in this example, we're gonna do no. You can set it up to keep going, um, but at this point we're gonna say no and it's gonna be a one-off. So we'll save it, there it is. So now we have the service set up. What this means is that the church online platform is gonna recognize that this event exists. So now we need to give it some content so that it can do what you want it to do. Uh, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna name it uh, name the series title or the sermon the service title so you can call it whatever you want um, I think there's value in adding something very specific to what you're talking about um, or you can just say weekend sermon weekend service you know however you want to articulate it we have an image that lets you uh, put a share image they give you the dimensions of the file right down there so if you want to put a graphic that says you know come watch church online with me this weekend or whatever you can duration of your service so this is now Think the entirety, so I'm putting an hour and a half, then you have public chat, that is allowing people to chat in your chat window. Um, how much time do you want the chat to be open before and after your service? Um, we put 10 minutes on ours, uh, but we really, really want people to be chatting. And then finally, uh, live prayer. Do you wanna be able to receive live prayers? Uh, and this is the key, okay? So right now you have your options. You can live stream. This is what we use to live stream, but I'm recommending you use it for YouTube or Vimeo in this example because it's gonna remove all of the technological complexity because you probably know how to upload a video. So we're gonna use a Vimeo link from um, the church, High Desert Church, where I serve. And so I'm just going to Vimeo and then I'm gonna find the URL. And so, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So I clicked on more actions here because I was wondering if that's where it'd be <laughs> and it wasn't. So click on the video itself and then above the video on Vimeo, you're gonna have a little URL right there, copy that. And that's the link you're looking for. On Vimeo, I believe it's on the right side underneath the little video thumbnail in your creative, uh, your player, whatever your account thing is um, for your, um, your specific creative content stuff. Um, and then when do you wanna start the video? So some videos you're gonna start with a countdown, like some weekends. So if you have content on the front end, if you have five minutes of content, then you want the video to start five minutes before the service begins. So that way you get that countdown content happening. Even if it's as simple as, hey, we're glad you're joining us in a different way today. Fantastic. Notes, pretty straightforward. If you want media to be in them, you can, or you can just leave them blank. At this point, I would say just leave them blank for the simplicity's sake. Host info, you can leave notes to your host team. And you can say, these are the things that we need to remember during our service. and so. Be friendly when people come online. Um, my policy is always to greet people by their username, if at all possible. And so we say, hi, so-and-so, you know, welcome to church, thanks for joining us, welcome online, however you wanna articulate that. Um, for a lot of uh, the pastoral team, it's really cool, because they're like, oh, so cool to like interact with you online. You can also include links. Hey, make sure you tell them to go to our website for more information. In a online as part of our strategy, we would say like, this is how you sign up for your event. In this case though, there aren't any more events. Uh, hit save, and that's it, you did it. So now what's gonna happen is, the live stream is gonna start at 10 a.m. on Sunday, March 22nd, based on the parameters that we have put in place. 
So real quick, I'm going to show you what the host tools look like. You have this big window with a lot of columns. Um, here's your sermon. That's the information, the upcoming event. This is where your video is going to play, right in that little quadrant. And then the host notes tend to go underneath there. Um, and then you have your host chat, which is that middle column, and that's where people are going to interact with one another. And so those are the things that make up Church Online Platform and the way that you can do a simulated live in a pretty simple way, no cost, and really not very reliant on complex technology. Ultimately, my goal with this is to help you get up on rails as quickly as possible so you can worry less about the infrastructure of technology you need to have this new live experience and just continue to minister to your people. This is a complicated time. A lot of people are afraid, and I am thankful that God has called each pastor that he has to shepherd the flock that he has given them. Be confident in the ministry that you're doing, even though it's uncertain, even though we have no idea what's going to change. This morning when I walked into work, we came in with a set of plans, and they were on fire by the time we hit lunchtime. So things are changing. I get it. Hopefully this is helpful for you to be able to jump into this space, but not commit to it long term, but just get something up so that you can minister to the people of your church. I'm praying for anybody who's watched this video that God will continue to work through the ministry that you're doing. Go get them.